Hi, welcome to episode three of Journey with the Josies. Well, here we are. It's after Christmas now, after New Year, and we're actually getting ready to take the tree down this weekend in our house. But I uh, wanted to take this opportunity since uh, none of you were able to come over to the house this uh, 2020 season uh, to at least see our tree once. Uh, but we hope that next year you all will be able to come over to the house and, and enjoy it with us. That's, that's certainly the goal. So Lynn, take it away with what we're going to view this week on our video. So on this episode of Journey with the Josies, we are going to be uh, showing our trip where we'd go from Tracy, California down to Indio, California, which is near Palm Springs. And we get to stay at a really nice RV resort called the Motor Coach Country Club. It has a lake and it has a um, golf course and it's just a really nice place and the weather was very pleasant. And a great sunset. And a great sunset. So we will enjoy showing you what we experienced there. So let's head on out back to December 26th when we departed. Stu drove the whole way from Tracy to Indio, California, and we arrived around 4 p.m. at the Motor Coach Country Club. 7.55 a.m. on Saturday, December 26th, and our journey down south towards the Motor Coach Country Club in Palm Springs. The resort is voted one of the top RV properties in America and is home to 400 privately owned lots with cement pads to park on and that have either private backyards with pools, back up to a golf course, or sit lakeside. We were lucky enough to get one of the few rentals they had during the holiday period that included a full outdoor kitchen, hot tub, pool, and fire pit. It far exceeded the expectations we had from reading about it online.
after a quick walk around the complex mm-hmm. upon arrival, we enjoyed a delicious chicken tiki marsala dinner prepared by Christine. We got to unwind in the hot tub before heading back into the RV for some Netflix to finish off our first day. What do we got today? Today is biscuit breakfast sandwiches. So you take a biscuit, add a sausage patty, some eggs, avocado cheese if you're interested, not the prettiest display over there, everything but the bagel seasoning, some hot sauce, and we're gonna go eat outside on our nice little patio. Got coffee brewing. With the best weather of our stay slated for the 27th, we spent our first full day around the complex taking walks, enjoying the pool, and video conferencing with Brandon, Becca, and Truett later that afternoon. When you're happy and you know it, then your face is really good. If you're happy and you know it, tap your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Windows on the bus go up and down, up and down. Up and down the windows on the bus. Great sunset during our stay, and Sunday night delivered with a stunning masterpiece that one of the locals rated in the top 10 of 2020. While taking it in, we were invited to come into the backyard of one of the property owners who had one of the best lots in the complex. He was a really cool guy who wanted to make sure we enjoyed the few minutes we had to experience the light show. Yeah. I use them twice a year. So. For dinner that night, we indulged in margaritas, barbecued salmon, and Chinese fried rice. On the 28th, we headed off for a full day of sightseeing at Joshua Tree National Park, which was about a 50 minute drive away. The park was designated as a national park in 1994 and encompasses almost 800,000 acres bordering the Mojave and Colorado deserts. We entered from a less busy southeastern gate and the sightseeing, sightseeing started slow with basic flatlands but was enhanced as the day went on with a variety of rock formations and more challenging trails.
Monday, December 28th, and we hit Joshua Tree National Park uh, early this morning. We left the house about uh, what time? Where the RV? 9 9 9.30. So I want to go around the car here and get everybody's thoughts on the day and what they liked and uh, what they thought about this place. First time for all of us. Christine? I enjoyed it. I feel like it's been hyped up a lot recently. I know a lot of people that have come. Um, so I was very excited to come tour it and see it. I didn't really know what to expect. I enjoyed the different little spots we stopped at. Um, but I wouldn't say the terrain is my favorite compared to other places we've been, especially having gone to Sedona a few different times. Um, I think I had different expectations, but I did enjoy Hidden Valley and I would love to come back sometime in warmer weather. Not too hot, but warmer than it is um, and see sunset, especially at, what was the peak called we just went to? Keys, Keys Point. View or Keys, Keys Point. Point. Yeah. I'd like to come back to that for sunset and then I think also just driving around um, and seeing the stars and the open sky would be really cool. So if I came back, those are the two things I'd want to do. Lynn? Um, I enjoyed this national park. I really enjoyed the Hidden Valley hike that we went on, which was a one mile loop. And the reason I enjoyed that was all the different rock formations and boulders that were there that you had the option to climb on if you'd like, or walk up high up onto if you would like. And I enjoyed that they were, um, a lot of them were in that reddish color like Sedona which we like. Um, if we were to come back, I would like to do the Barker Dam hike, which is another one mile loop that we were unable to do due to no parking. And also the Vista that you were just talking about, Christine, that overlooks the Coachella Valley and all the way out to Palm Springs. I would like to see that too. Okay. Well, for me, uh, one thing I'd comment on is the weather. Um, you know, we were down here in late December and we're getting kind of 70 degrees, 60, high 60s down in the valley where the RV is, but we got up here right after a storm front passed through in the middle of the night. So it dropped up here in the high desert, I think we're in the high desert, to um, 30s and 40s is what we experienced today in here. So it was a little bit, uh, wind. <laughs> a little bit challenging. Yeah, some very windy up here on top. <clears throat> um, wide variety of, of landscape here and terrain. We came in from the southeast on the Indio side and uh, it started slow with not a whole lot of places to pull over and kind of just desert feel at first and wasn't too impressed but once we got into the main part of the park probably about 45 minutes into our journey in here then it, then it got very interesting like I said a lot of variety and uh, I liked it. I like it. I'd like to come back though. I'm more of a warm desert kind of person to tour here but but not 120 I, I wouldn't want to do that but 80s 90s 100 uh, would be would be a lot of fun in here and I think Christine mentioned I'd like to come back and, and be here at night and see the stars so definitely come back I yeah, just so wouldn't, wouldn't back. rate this a plus I'd rate it today I'd rate it a, a B Thanks. sounds good wow all right after arriving back at the resort we took an evening walk and then went off property to grab some Mexican food to bring back to the RV. On Tuesday the 29th, we spent our last full day visiting Indian Canyon, which was about a 45 minute drive on the other side of Palm Springs. This was a really unique place that had numerous hiking trails and clusters of palm trees at the base of rock canyons with streams running through it. We went on the Murray Canyon Trail, which was an extremely beautiful four mile round trip journey that included several switchbacks across the river on logs and rocks. It's a really nice day living in the right space, breathing your grace, got me feeling so good away.
returning from Indian Canyon, we made a lemon chicken and potatoes dish in the Instant Pot, and it was pretty outstanding. And I'm searing the chicken initially. Eventually, I will be pressure cooking it with the potatoes. sauteed the chicken, added some spices, and now we are putting the chicken and the potatoes in here to pressure cook. And then we'll make a sauce to finish it off. Looks moist. What's that? This is the sauce, a lemon garlic sauce that was made and sauteed in there. And then I just thickened it up with some cornstarch and water. And looks like we're good to go. We took our time to cherish the amenities of the property one last time, knowing that Wednesday morning was going to be dedicated to our cleanup and departure checklist. With some sadness, we departed India around 10 a.m. for our 450-mile, 8-plus-hour journey back home. journey with the Josies. We don't know where we're going next. But we're going to start the planning process tonight and as soon as we figure it out uh, we'll be getting back to you with another video. And happy retirement Lynn. Today she finished up with Hot Seat Pacific and is joining me in retirement. Thank you.